Hey guys, I'm here with a pretty impromptu video because as I upload this, I'm probably on the way in the car driving from Plymouth to Sheffield to swim at the Swim England Winter National Championships 2022. Now, this in itself is pretty impromptu because as you've probably seen from the channel, the vlogs that I've been making, other than the ones that are really recent, have been me coaching. And that's what I see as my profession. I, I see myself as a swimming coach. But since the Commonwealth Games, where me and Chad went separate ways, and me looking for a coaching job, which I've not yet found something that excites me, I needed to make swimming content. I wanted to do some reviews. I wanted to record sessions. And the only way I knew how to do that was to get back in the pool myself. And it was pretty difficult because, in complete honesty, I was the least fit I've ever been. I swam at the Olympic trials in pretty rough shape in April 2021 and following from that I've been in the pool anywhere up to five times a week and as little as no 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 times not not at all and I go in phases there's times when I'm really keen I want to get in shape and I go you know four or five times or if I'm with people like Tom Rushton he brings the best out of me and we end up swimming a fair bit and then there's times when I just can't access a pool can't go train don't want to access a pool don't want to go train but Post the Commonwealth Games, I entered the Masters County Championships on the, I think the 10th or the 9th of September, and it went okay. I swam a 24-1 for 50 freestyle, which I wasn't happy with at the time, it's still my season's best, and a 53-2 for the 100 freestyle, which I was pretty okay with, and it's still my season's best. And then I went away, I went sailing with my girlfriend. I went to Rhodes for a good swimmer friend's wedding. I swam maybe four or five times over the next month. And then a few weeks after that, I went to a job interview, I think on the 20th or the 19th of October in Norway uh, for a coaching job. And when I, I didn't train the whole time I was there, I didn't even bring swimming stuff, I got back. And that's when I said, okay, I'm, you know, I'm going to try and do nationals. So I think on about the 25th of October, I started getting back in the pool back in Essex maybe four or five times. I then got back to the Plymouth and I'll, I'll find a date. I can go on my WhatsApp messages and find a date. It was the 2nd of November, so 28 days ago. I got back to Plymouth. I text Matt, the head coach of Dartmoor Darts, and said, I want to train. He said, we've got a session on tonight. I went straight to the pool. I just drove five hours back to Plymouth. I went that night to a two-hour session. Didn't do the whole thing at Ivy Bridge. And I've trained three times a week. Uh, when I've not been away with Dartmoor Darts and two or three times a week on top of that on my own lower intensity sessions. I've been to the gym on average twice a week in this time as well. So we've done four weeks of training up until now. Uh, in that time, I've been to Poland for a three-day vacation. I've swum at two competitions, the Devon Masters Championships and the Cardiff International Open Meet. And the plan was to actually try and do my best and, and shave for the Scottish Winter Championships, not this weekend, the weekend after. But along the way, I found out I'd qualified for the English National Championships, so I've entered them as well. I'm not going to shave this weekend. I'm only swimming one day. I, I had more events. I didn't want to spend the money to be up there longer. So I'm only swimming day one. I'm swimming the 50 freestyle and the 100 butterfly. Then the weekend after, I'm going to swim the 100 freestyle, the 50 butterfly, and the 50 freestyle at the Scottish Championships, which is way harder competition and has all the way to sea finals. So, you know, pipe dream is to make a sea final at the Scottish Winter Short Course Championships. So that's just like a quick up to date. And I'm not telling you this in any way of like making excuses for how I swim. It's just me being completely honest. And it feels weird going to a competition of any level as a competitor, not as a coach, and seeing people I've not seen for a long time as a competitor and not as a coach, because I take pride in the coaching I've done over the last year. I've, I've, I've coached to international medals and stuff like that, and it feels weird going to perform as a swimmer at a much lower level. We're going to take a look at my 50 freestyle PB right now. I've got the video. I found the video of it, and uh, it's a 22.92, so we'll, uh, we'll bring this video up now. So this is the 29th of November 2019 at the Speedo Invitational in Dubai. I'm there with the club I coached at the time, the BSM Marlins, based out of Amman. And as you can see, I come out in the full tracksuit. Anyone I've ever coached will tell you how much I think this, this is a vital thing for any event you swim. Come out warm and leave it to the last second to get down to your suit, because 
any heat you lose is basically speed you're losing and everyone else comes out in jammers that's on them i come out in the full kit and i'm leaving it to the last second before i get up on the blocks to strip down to my tier venzo which i was wearing for the first time here and i'm really excited i've got the brand new tier model on its way and i'm going to be reviewing that on the channel soon so subscribe if you want to you know check that video out in the coming weeks but this was as i said a 22.9 and right now in this season i've been three 24s, 24-1, 24-3, 24-2. So well off my PB. And, you know, my realistic goal for these next couple of weeks is to try and get as far under 24 as I can. And I don't even know if that's going to happen. But the guy in the lane next to me actually had a little twitch. It didn't put me off. I've never been a big underwater kicker. But the, thing, the things I'm really noticing difference to my swimming right now is my right arm has a little bit more verticality on it. But most importantly, I'm getting in and out of the walls quicker. I sort of vacuum into the wall. I'm not doing a big underwater kick, but I've just come in and out super quick. And even watching this, I can't believe how much I jammed the finish. I think the finish could have been even better on this race as well. So that's what I'm up to. I will be swimming tomorrow when you watch this at the winter national championships there's a live stream put on by swim england you can watch me race i'll be in the heat in the 50 freestyle and the 100 fly following that and again i'll be racing next weekend at the scottish winter championships also short course and that's the one i'm hoping to swim even faster at but again who knows what's going to happen at this point if you want to see vlogs of these meets, and that's the other reason I'm competing, is so I can go to these meets and show off some of the swimming in the UK, show off how fast the swimmers are. There's some great swimmers at the English meet with people like Jamie Ingram. There's even better swimmers. Uh, no, no offence, Jamie, but even more fast swimmers, I should say, at the Scottish meet the weekend after. Bath, Loughborough, Sterling, they're all competing. There's some big names. I've actually... Really excited to see how fast people swim. There's only a small GB team going to the World Short Course Championship, so most GB swimmers are swimming at that meet. And another reason why I want to be there, I've got no athletes, I'm not really coaching anyone at the moment, except on my online program where I am coaching two people that are racing next weekend. And if you want to be coached by me, check out my website, www.theswimsuitguy.co.uk, and you can sign up to a custom program where I write your training sessions. And I was writing my own training sessions back when I swam that 22.9. I'm not really now. I'm just doing some Dartmoor sessions, and you know, I'm not taking any accountability for the program that I'm doing right now in case I swim slow. But all my PBs, I wrote my program, and... You know, you can be part of that program. It's a really, really competitive, high-performance program at, I think, very fair prices for what I offer. And if you like this T-shirt that I'm wearing, oh, wrong side. If you like this T-shirt I'm wearing, you can also buy this on my website, www.theswimsuitguy.co.uk. It's £15 shipped in the UK, but if you want to get it at a discounted rate, then use coupon code YouTube5 to save £5, making it only £10 shipped to the UK. Subscribe to the channel if you do want to see all these vlogs from these national meets in the UK. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.